Hey everybody, Young and Hard here, and welcome back to Dark Souls 2. So, we went and upgraded all of our stuff, so now we have a plus 10 Arch Drake Staff and a plus 10 Hide Knight Sword. We went back to the Hide Knight Sword, it's because the, uh, the Red Rust Sword was not, I wasn't liking the attack pattern. And I was used to the Hide Knight Sword, plus the Thunder Damage. He's going to do a lot of, a lot more damage than the Red Rust Sword in this area, which you'll see soon. So, this took me a while to figure out what to do. We need to kill these guys near the golems to absorb the soul, and when they do... up a little bit. Now when you do it near the door, it opens up a said door. Each door, if it's the incorrect one, houses a ruin sentinel. Yay. Hence why we need the lightning. Each one of these holds a Ruin Sentinel. And they hold as much health as they did when they were a single boss. So you do need to watch out for that. As soon as I walk out in front of here... statue is in the way as well. Now, we might change that out. So we've got our thunder. Expecting that. Let's head down here and heal. Now we have two doors open and two sentinels. Fuck. Really, what I needed. Here. Luckily, these guys take quite a bit of damage from my lightning spear. When it's not hitting their shield, of course. some ruined gauntlets at least. It's not that great an item, but okay. Mm. 
Now, whatever was used to fuel the golem, other uh, door, sorry, will not respawn. So I used both of those enemies from that area, and you can see they don't respawn. Either. Hello. Come on, buddy. There we go. So those guys unfortunately do respawn. Yeah. Bit of a bummer, I'm afraid. They will always be here. So we got the Royal Soldier's Ring. Let's give that an equip. And let's take these guys out systematically. And run back. Start the slow kill for the second. Oh, okay. He fell down there. As long as we don't go near that door, the sentinel shouldn't come out. Thank you. We can feed that golem and give us some more light. Excellent. back and retreat for now. Sentinel down. And we get a Pharaoh's Lockstone for our trouble. Out. 
Oh boy. This is not going well. No! We get our lightning spell back. That's about it. And none of those hit him. Trouble, there's absolutely nothing in here. So, you know what? We're gonna run down here and drop. Screw that guy. Now, we got the far. Um, Ram armor. Armor worn by the Ferocer Lion Knights. The mighty Lion Knights, worshippers of the war god Faram, wore heavy armor and were feared for their nimble two handed sword play. But their legacy was cut short with the fall of Ferosa. Let's see, does the rest say anything? Faram helmet. Nope, this is the same thing. So that's the helmet. Looks good, but it's no bare head. Hello, Rui. I'm gonna make you go away now. And in here we have our final area for the dark. We meet again, young undead. You have the look of a true seeker. I am Dark Diver Grandal, seeker of dark, giver of dark. If you seek true dark, I will grant it to you, as much as you desire. Well then, is dark what you wish for? Not right now. Hmm. Perhaps I was wrong. No. no, no. 
just ignore me, young undead. May the dark shine your way. You didn't guess wrong. I do want to join that covenant because there is a killer boss at the end. But I want the sunlight bros first. Because I get a very good sunlight spell. Uh miracle. That's annoying. On the bright side, the doorway's open. And that's the last one we needed anyway. So let's sprint through here. There's nothing in here we need. Not in there, sorry. Arrows. So an old hero, old radiant, life gem, and a monastery charm. Fatty. Alright. He's in stone or petrified. Regardless, we can't use a fragrant brand of jewel on him, nor would we want to. Take off all our armor. Mm, aren't we pretty? An Elizabeth mushroom. And a chest. There's three corrosive urns. And that's it. Wasted our time in there. Alright, let's get back our stuff. We'll get our leather shield. Where was it? There it was. Where's our charm? There it is. Um, yeah, that's all we had. Second dragon ring. Clear blue stone. What else do we have? That and that. There we go. That's all that stuff back. we can really do here. Let's head further in. Oh! Lovely, thank you for that. Really appreciate it when creepy masks hit me with poison. I was lying. Nope, 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 I'm dead. They do know I was lying when I said that, right? Really, truly I was. Let's 
run through there. We don't want to attract their attention too much. guys might. Holy crap. Somehow that went through the wall. I'll accept it. Stop trying to lead me into the poison. There was one more. Ah, there you are. That. Now, here's a picture of Nishandra, the Queen of Drank Lake. And she will curse you, by the way. <laughs> a hint to her true nature, perhaps? And the Nameless Usurper. Alright, so the Nameless Usurper is gone. Now we know the Nameless Usurper. And we'll figure that out soon enough. Nishandra. You have fought admirably on your journey, cursed undead. I am Nishandra, Queen of Drang Lake. A true monarch carries the weight of their souls. The last king of this land, King Vendrick, as he was called. He found the strength to rule his people, and when the undead were born,
cursed. He found more strength to face them. But in the end, he never took the true throne. Visit Vendrick. We have no need for two rulers. Now, for someone that loves her beloved husband, she sure wants you to kill him. Now, there is one more thing we can do here before we end this episode. There is a bonfire. And I want to get to that bonfire. So, let's see. Whoop! if we can find it. There we go. And we'll use the fire here. And we'll leave this episode here. So, if you liked the episode, let us know in the sec comment section below. If you've got any hints and theories about the Chandra, also let us know, and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!